Hey everyone, it's Christine, and I know it's been a while, but I have a very good excuse. I actually made a video for you guys about a month ago, and I was under the impression that YouTube uploaded it. So I was always wondering, I'm like, I haven't gotten any comments on that video, and no one's responded, and I wonder, I guess people just, I, I waited too long to post a video, so I guess people don't care anymore. But then I kept getting comments on the video before that. So I wondered, hmm, did YouTube even post it? So I went and checked and it was, it said video unprocessed. So I guess it never was posted. And I had just made a video update uh, right after a workout saying how I was doing, what was going on. And as you can see, I haven't gained any, I mean, I'm looking at myself and I haven't gained any weight that would make me look like I did before, but I have gained weight. Not in a bad way, though, and I'll explain what that means. So, um, like I said in one of my past videos, I have been trying to gain more muscle because it has become literally impossible to lose any more large chunks of fat like I was before, you know, two years ago when I first started Weight Watchers. I was losing, you know, three pounds a week, two pounds a week. I was losing up to 10 pounds a month. That doesn't happen anymore. If I do lose weight, it's a few pounds here and there and it always I always stay around the same weight. I haven't seen my lowest weight in over a year, which was about 188. And even when I was at 188, I was feeling very sick, uh, like weak and tired a lot. And that was just because I was trying to make myself eat less than what my body needed. So that's not a very healthy way of doing it. But after being educated a little more on what my body needed and learning more about it, um, I decided that even though the scale was going up, that didn't mean my weight was getting bigger. You know, my overall body wasn't getting bigger. So it has been, what is it? My one year anniversary from my weight loss, my tummy tuck was back in uh, December. So it's been quite a while. What is it? December, January, February, March, April. So about four months since then. And what else? Um, I'm still very happy with my boyfriend. Yes, I have a boyfriend now. So that can kind of, I don't have time on the weekends to be like, Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> because, um, I'm usually hanging out with him or we're playing basketball. We're very active with each other. We like to do a lot of things outside and, um, it's nice to have a companion that, shares the same interest. He's very health conscious as well and tries to eat healthy. You know, we do the 80, 20 rule. We try to eat healthy. We try to shoot for a hundred percent healthy, but if we hit 80, that's the goal. And then we give that 20% of, uh, kind of like flexibility. If when we go out on the weekends, maybe we want to grab a drink or something, or we want to share an appetizer or something like that. But I have gone up in weight. Um, I maintained for about a year at 197 and that's 197 pounds for anyone who doesn't realize that's 197 pounds. And I went up to right now I'm currently at 207 and I went to the doctor and because I was very worried, I'm like, I'm over 200 pounds. What's going on? I haven't been this way when I first lost all the weight. And they said, well, what have you changed differently? And I told them I started weightlifting and they said, well, that's, you know, you're, you're weightlifting, so you're gaining muscle. And I, you know, when I was eating very small portions and only working out maybe three times a week, I was probably losing a lot of lean mass, I mean, a lot of lean muscle. So I didn't want that to happen because I don't want to have osteoporosis or bone damage or whatever. So anyways, I started working out and weightlifting. And in August, at the end of August, wait, no, the 1st of August, I'll be having my skin removed from my arms. As you can see, it's still, even with weightlifting, with cardio, it's still disgusting on both arms. So I'll be having the skin removed from both of them. And I can't wait because literally, like, I have muscle here. And it's very, like, oh, man, I feel so strong when I do that. But you can't see it because of the skin. So, yeah. Um, I look yeah, I don't have any makeup on, whatever. Uh, you guys don't care. You just care to see if I'm still healthy, right? Anyways, that's what's been going on. I have I exercise almost every day of the week. If if it's not a hard workout, like uh, I'm going to the gym and working out at my trainer. On the weekends, I like to play basketball. I'll go ride my bike. 
try to stay active every day of the week. And Monday through Friday is when I have like my training where I'm doing cardio or I'm doing weightlifting with a trainer. On the weekends is when I do stuff, fun stuff outside and try to stay as active as possible. So that's what's been going on. And yeah, it's pretty good. I've been happy. I'm, you know, my clothes still fit. Sorry about that. My clothes still fit. My, I, you know, I, I do count calories, but I don't do it at, to, you know, to scare myself. I just do it to keep myself in check. Um, right now I'm having a delicious bowl of oatmeal as a snack because, um, if I eat a bigger meal, uh, you know, for breakfast or if I have a protein shake, I tend to, you know, it depends on what I'm eating. I get hungrier later. So I don't ever try to restrict myself because if I do, it does have the tendency to trigger binges and I don't want those. I want to just be happy. And you know, if I have a piece of cake once in a while, it's not going to kill me. And I just know that I have to kick butt in the gym, which I have been doing. So I hope you all are great. I'm sorry this video is so long. I'm going to try to edit it down, but this is the first time I've ever used iMovie on my new MacBook. So we shall see. I hope you guys are doing great. And I will try to check in with you as often as possible now that I know that my iMovie works. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.